Hey everyone, Summer here with Astaria Sen, and I'm on doing a VR or tarot tag, I guess, to a uh, water child tarot. And uh, her video is all about uh, tarot tube. I will leave the hashtag in the title of this video because I don't really remember what it is currently, and I've done, I've been very, very busy. I've been a very, very, very busy person. <laughs> um, but I did want to go ahead and get on and do this tag because I really enjoyed the prompts from it. And uh, I'm not going to say that I'm going to go in as deep as other people might or anything like that. You know me. I, I like to keep it light and fluffy on my channel <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> um, but I did want to get on and do it and just kind of like jump in with, uh, you know, why tarot tube for me, you know, basically. And uh, there's only a few questions and I'm not going to make this very long. And before I get into it, do you like my ears? I like my ears. I just got them for my last event and I think they're fantastic. I think I'm going to start wearing them in my videos because I like it. <laughs> um, also, I wanted to tell you that uh, in October, I will be doing um, crafting videos for everybody for, you know, Samhain and um, just fun stuff for that. And also be doing um, several other VRs and tarot tag or tags that I hadn't gotten around to. So be prepared for that in October because <laughs> that's coming, right? Um, and I'm going to be a really busy person. So I wanted to just kind of keep it light and easy on my channel. I have a ton of events that I'm doing starting in October and I will be a busy, busy, busy artist through December. So it'll be one of those times when I will get on YouTube and I will try to keep up with everybody as best I can. But life is getting ready to happen and I'm gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started on this. The very first question is, who are you with tarot? Now, this is a fun one because when I think about the tarot in any form, I think magic and mystical and that puts me right into my fairy brain. <laughs> You know, and I think I kind of turn into like a little tarot goblin. <laughs> okay, hear me out, hear me out, okay? I, I create goblins and from my point of view, they're these, these little creatures that kind of are a little bit mischievous. They're, I don't see them as, you know, these horrible little creatures or anything like that. For me, the goblins that I see, the goblins that interact with me through my art, are childish and um they like the fun things but in that childish aspect too they're kind of like no mine 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 you know what i mean and that's kind of how i feel with tarot is i don't share it with a lot of people i don't do uh readings professionally um i don't know that i want to either uh but i do like doing them for fun I like doing them on myself and I like doing them on other people. Uh, and I like sharing that aspect of it, I guess. But I also have like, it's kind of like that goblin aspect. I want to do it. I'm going to do it. And I don't feel ashamed about it you know, kind of aspect. And I, that's why I say I'm like a little goblin with it. Plus I like collecting the decks. <laughs> And I don't know what that makes me, but it makes me happy. And as I've said on my videos before, if it's something that makes you happy, you should do it. I don't care. I I only have one life and I'm going to live it my way and I'm going to do the things that make me smile and that make my day worth living. And if that means I buy a tarot deck, I'll buy a tarot deck and I'm not going to feel bad about it in any way, shape or form. So I guess that's my goblin-y aspect. They don't feel guilt for any of the stuff that they do. <laughs> they're kind of like little little kids that don't understand why they're in trouble for something that they did. <laughs> um, but I also like the fun that comes with tarot, and I enjoy the learning aspect too. And maybe that's not quite goblin-y, but it still kind of falls in that category for me. All right. So what are your tarot goals? I think I kind of covered this already. I enjoy collecting the tarot decks and I do enjoy reading with them. But so mine's like 
fun and creativity and inspiration because I do like pulling inspiration from tarot to my art and to my journaling and those aspects really appeal to me and I love the magic of it like seriously I love the magic of tarot and the mystical aspects of tarot um so my goals are you know if I can help somebody sure I mean I don't mind putting stuff on my channel that's going to help people um but I'm not really a teacher for everything and I don't I don't really want to be I guess like I don't mind sharing things that I know but teaching isn't really a thing I do <laughs> so that's out uh doing readings maybe we'll see what the future brings but right now I just kind of like having fun with it and my goals are just to share an experience with other people that like that kind of experience as well like the tarot experience so that's that's my goals <laughs> um how did you discover tarot tube so this one is interesting um, many, many years ago, like over 10 years ago, I got my very first deck. It wasn't a tarot deck. It was an oracle deck, but I didn't realize it was an oracle deck. I didn't know at the time that there was a difference between oracle and tarot. My, a good friend got it for me because it had fairies on it and I like fairies. And I never, I did like one reading with it once and I put it on a shelf and it literally sat on my shelf for like 10 years. And then I had a best friend and we had a very, very bad falling out and I had no one to turn to and I didn't know what I was doing and I was trying to find some creative outlet for my art and I ran into like talismans and amulets. So then I start looking up talismans and amulets, which brought me to <laughs> Wicca, which then brought me to YouTube, which then led me to Tarot Tube. <laughs> So the fae led me to tarot. <laughs> Fairies led me to tarot too. It's just how it is. <laughs> the the deck that led me would, would be the Amy Brown fairy tarot <laughs> or oracle. <laughs> but yeah, so I had I, what had happened is I pulled that deck out because I was like on YouTube and I'm like, people have decks on YouTube. What is this? So I pull out my deck and I'm like looking through it. And so then I start searching tarot tube for my deck to see what other people think about it. And I kind of just went from there. I kind of grew wings out of that and kind of went away, went doing my own thing and took over everything with it, <laughs> including a YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> the next one, why do you watch tarot videos? Um, I like the mystical aspect of tarot readings and learning from other people. So I like, you know, when I do watch tarot readings, I, I like that aspect because I enjoy learning how somebody else reads a card. Um, <laughs> and I like the magical aspect. I like looking at the art and I like how other people talk about decks and what they enjoy working with, why they enjoy working with them. I just really enjoy connecting with people that are like-minded pretty much that's why I watch tarot videos mainly for myself you know for indulging myself and I'm okay with that too <laughs> um what types of content do you find most valuable I think the most valuable aspect for me is just being able to get on and watch somebody's videos and be in their world for a short period of time exploring with them in a way um, i find that valuable because of the connection that it creates but i do also find most of the tarot tube videos i watch valuable including tarot tags uh because they're fun and they're engaging and that's valuable to me my time is valuable and engaging my time with other people who are doing the tags or uh, doing a deck review or anything like that. Um, they've spent valuable time of theirs to create those videos. So I find it all valuable to me if I'm going to sit and watch it or I sit and create a video. It's valuable to me. Um, it's somebody's time that they've spent doing something that they enjoy or that they're passionate about or that they want to teach somebody or something like that. Personally, a uh, value of a video like, say, what I learn or what I like or something like that, I don't really view it that way. Uh, I just enjoy spending time with other people on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Uh, why do you participate in TarotTube? 
like the video making, the chatting, and the leaving comments. I think I've already covered that too. <laughs> I just like connecting with other people who ha say, you know, share some of the same aspects of life that I like. I can't do that in my hometown as easy. And now that I'm out of the property, uh, I'm very, very much more secluded. So I'm very more interested in connecting via <laughs> online means. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this just the connecting to others, uh, the community that's involved with it and stuff like that. So those are the answers to my questions. I hope you enjoyed my little goblin rantings. <laughs> and maybe next time I'll be a fairy in a video. Who knows? It just depends on what I'm doing, right? <laughs> so yeah, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a very great day. <laughs>